Hello and welcome. What we'll be doing at today within Members Village is showing you as the administrator how to get a summary about your event. What you'll want to do is head over to the event section and what we're going to look at today is the weekend paid event. So we're going to ask Members Village now to give us a summary and here we're going to get a breakdown of the event itself. So we're going to get the name of the event, the date, scenario, whether who it's um, active to and whether it's active on the site at all. We're also going to get a couple of details, the registration details and the location um, information as well. As an administrator, this panel is also going to give you an overview of the tickets that you're selling for the event. So here we can see that we've got just a regular ticket. We've sold one of those, you know, and the total amount of revenue that we've had from those sales along with the refunds. We also see that we have a members only option and that there's been zero purchases of that item. So we do get a financial breakdown of the event sales themselves as well as a breakdown of the tickets that are, have been sold. So there's a little bit of a difference here because what we can use these tickets sold for is to get a attendance list for that event. So here, because this is a very simple event, it's a one day event. Um, there was no breakdown between different sessions or different days. If I wanted to see who are my attendees are, I would get them on this initial screen. And what I would be able to do here is just simply go to data and export and Members Village would then provide me with my attendee list in Excel, which I can then print or I can share with somebody else. Maybe somebody is managing, you know, in person um, on site so that I can pass on to them. But this is something that is definitely available to you. And this will give you a full breakdown of everyone who is coming along with whether they have paid or not. So here we can see that I purchased a ticket. However, I offered to pay by check or by another method that was an instant, such as a credit card. So I haven't actually paid you for attending your event. So it may very well be a good screen to sort of get an idea of, you know, who is actually coming, who's paid. Otherwise, sorry, if you show up and you have not paid, you're not going to get in. If we come back to the summary screen, we also get a breakdown of the forms which have been attached to some of the ticket options. So in a previous video, we showed you how to attach a form which would could collect additional information about an attendee. And this is where you would get that additional information. So here, there's only one form that has been attached to the entire events options or registration options. So I just see that breakdown here. But if there were more forms, those would be available in separate panes as well. And here, if I click on submissions, I then get all of the details around that person's purchase and around the additional information that they've provided to us. So here I can see that who it was submitted by and the actual first name and last name of the attendee, should they be different from the person who actually paid for the ticket. So there's definitely scenarios where one person might buy 10 tickets and then specify who the attendees they will be. So that's a perfect example of coming to this submission form to get those details as well. And in here, we have also the accessibility and dietary restrictions, which um, we can also export just like we did with the attendance list. And the way we would do that is simply go to action or sorry, data and export. And this would also give us a Excel spreadsheet with the data around um, the, uh, the this form submission for this particular ticket type. What you can also do here as an administrator in, in terms of other functionalities is, for example, send a broadcast. So let's say for whatever reason the event is coming up, I want to touch base with everyone who is coming or everyone who has made a submission here. So I would simply go to action, send a broadcast, and then I would be able to then put together an email blast to all of those attendees about a maybe a deferral or maybe a change of plan, or maybe there's an outright cancellation of the event itself. So this is a real handy way for you not to have to search through other lists or through your entire database and then try to put together a list of who is actually coming to the event. You just come here, you say, hey, give me a list of all those people who have submitted a form and I'm going to shoot them off an email. And the last thing you can do here as well as an administrator is get a breakdown of your data by summary type, or oh, sorry, by um, fields that are quantifiable. So if I exclude the empty data, I'm going to get a really 
you know, if, if there was other fields which were quantifiable here, I would get a breakdown of those fields and see how my breakdowns happen. So for example, maybe I'm asking um, attendees for their type of position that they hold within their organization. Uh, or I ask them for the country of origin, or I ask them another sort of quantifiable field that would be available within this summary for you. And I'm just going to head back. What you can also do as an administrator from the summary screen is modify any of the details around the event itself. So I can modify the event itself. I can add, remove tickets. I can set up the waitlist or see who is on the waitlist. I can manage my sessions. Um, and the sessions are really more for conferences. They're not utilized for simple events. I can manage my presentation files, my speakers, or my speaker panels. And that is a quick overview of our event summary. Hopefully you've enjoyed this series of videos around how to manage events. Thanks for watching.